All right, man. Tyler, the creator, won the Grammy last night for Eager. I think the name of the album was. And uh, let's talk a little bit about that, man. I don't watch the Grammys, but I went back, didn't hear the album, but I did go back and listen to some songs, look, listen to his performance. But once again, this is why <laughs> you need black people on the board. But I think you need another category for some of the shit they call it rap today. But let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, uh, share the video. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Make, make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate it though. But uh, yeah, I think I think it's time for I think it's time for them to come up with a, another category for some of this. A lot of this they putting under rap is not rap. A lot of these dudes singing fast and calling it rap, it ain't rap. But you know. I listened to a little bit of his album, and you can tell, you know, uh, the production was great. You know what I'm saying? Whoever does his production on uh, Earthquake, and there's another song, a few songs I listened to, the production is really, really great. But I went back and watched the performance last night. That shit ain't rap. You know what he did? <laughs> but you got to remember, man, This is these are suburban white kid parents that's telling us about the culture of hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? And, and at least they don't have to go out there and put black and black people in each category. At least give us black people in every category. I believe rap, best hip hop award came on the scene in '94. I believe it is. The best rap album came on the scene, and it's pretty much a commercial fest. The Grammys is commercial when it comes to our 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 content and our albums or whatever. And obviously, the best rap album I heard this year was Meek Championships. And um, you know, some people be like, "Oh, Meek is trap," but you didn't hear the album. All right, you didn't hear the album. <laughs> if you keep killing me on that one, I'll be honest. I didn't hear Igner from Tyler Crater, but I do know when I ride through the hood or when I, I go to New York or I go wherever I go, Ohio, Indiana, I don't hear nobody banging Tyler the Crater. Same way I, didn't hear no, I don't hear nobody banging that Eminem album. People sit here and defend Eminem, and I'm in the streets. Right now, I'm in Detroit. You know what I'm saying? I don't hear nobody banging Eminem. Somebody was just waking up playing. I just woke up, somebody was playing some loud music. It wasn't no Eminem. You know what I'm saying? So I think the Grammys should just for you know for the sake for the sake of it, just hire some black people to 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 do the do the R and B album of the year, the best rap song of the year, the best rap album of the year. Just hire black people just do the, to do the black awards. No way in hell did Tyler Creator had the best rap album because it's not really even rap. You know, but they always trying to make that homosexuality synonymous with our culture. That's how they trying to tear the culture down. All you dudes that listen to Young Thug and Gunna and these dudes wearing their purses and rips in their jeans, it's an agenda to tear the hip-hop culture down, and y'all don't even know it. Everything the Boondocks said was true, you know, but you, this once again, you having clear people tell us what's hot and what's not hot, not hot in our culture. They can't do that. You know what I'm saying? How they how you, how you gonna how can a clear person that never been to the hood, never been to a hood club, never been to the hood and know what the people playing? The best rap album is, is it shouldn't be a commercial. It's not a commercial thing. You know what I'm saying? That's why they miss Illmatic. You know that's why they miss Tupac joints. But they did get it right with Twenty One uh, Savage and J Cole uh, a lot. That was the best rap song I heard last year. But J Cole shouldn't have got his first album. Shouldn't have got his first Grammy being attached to uh, 21 Savage. People saying, well, J. Cole made the song. 21 Savage held up his end of the bargain as well. That was a great song. Even the extended version where J. Cole missed the uh, the portion to make the album, whatever it was, and 21 Savage did the extended version, it still was good. Even though J. Cole had the best verse, the hook was cold. The idea of the song was cold. So they both did their part to make that song hot. But I listened to I Am I Was. I like 21 Savage album. I didn't really hear the first one because I like, man, trash. But I gave it a chance. He can rap. Why me and Cordell? I didn't hear his album. So I can't really give you an opinion on it. But I heard him rap. He that's rap. 21, Meek Mill, uh, the Revenge of the Dream, whatever, the Dreamville Revenge, whatever they crap was called. I heard a lot of cuts off of there from Sirius XM Satellite Radio. They can rap. But the one the one guy who don't have no bars. Who sound the least from rap wins the rap album of the year, and that's because they trying to destroy the culture. You know what I'm saying? That's why. 
That's why you're hearing Gunna, Baby, Young Thug. This is why you're hearing these dudes being pushed really, really hard on the radio or wherever you at. It's because they want that homosexuality to destroy the hip-hop culture. You know, you see that uh, Billy Porter with his dress on. I was disappointed in Nas last night for co-signing Lil Nas X with all that pink stuff on. That's what they. That's how they want to destroy the culture. And all you dudes wearing the uh, the satchels or the, the the Nike fanny packs across your, on your waist, man. Before you know it, you're gonna be marrying a man. This is how they how they emasculating the culture of rap, a hip hop, excuse me. But Tyler Crater, that wasn't no rap album, bro. That wasn't no rap album. That was kind of like an alternative, you know, punk album, you know. But the production was great. I give them that. The production was great. But wasn't nobody in the hood, you know, uh, pumping uh, pumping on Tyler Creator. Real talk. Ain't nobody going to the club. Hey, put that Tyler Creator on. Same thing with Eminem. That's why I said that the Grudidi and Jay-Z need to come up with the Black Grammys. Not no Source Awards type of gangster. Uh, if you want to come, you tired of the producer on the video. No, I need to come with something elegant. Something well put together with a suit and tie dress code. That's what they need to do. But, you know, at the end of the day, congratulations to him. But he didn't have the best rap album of the year. That wasn't no rap album. You know what I'm saying? Maybe an alternative rap album, that, that uh, a category they need to come out with. Uh, a pop rap album category they need to come out with. But a lot of things these dudes is doing now is, is not rap. But a lot of people was done with the Grammys when uh, uh, Puffy, uh, Puffy album, what was it called? Whatever it was, No Way Out, whatever it was, and they beat Wu-Tang, 36 Chambers. A lot of people was done with that, so after that, man, and I know uh, one of my boys, Darnell, who's sub on here, he said he was done when they gave uh, Macklemore, whatever that Macklemore, whatever the white boy's name, they gave him the uh, album of the year over Kendrick, Good City, Mad Kid, so y'all know it's a commercial thing, man, you know what I'm saying, and, but Ty Correa had the best rap album, great production, but he not a rapper, though, to me. There ain't no rap, man. Rap is something that got substance, that got bars. There's a lot of dudes out here that don't consider rappers. Gunna, Lil Baby, they singing. Young Thug, he not, he's singing. He ain't really rapping. And when he rapping, yeah, 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 yeah. They ain't no rapping, man. But that's how they destroying the culture. And this generation going to let them, this is going to be how they infect the hip-hop culture. And they destroy it through this generation. But they don't see it, though. You know, they don't see it. They fanny packs and they purse wearing the rips in the jeans. And, and they ain't pushing that amongst country people. They ain't pushing that against rock. And black people created country music and rock. But hip hop is so influential. The culture, the rap, the R and B, so influential. They already destroy R and B. Everybody, every time you turn on the radio, somebody sound like Jane Aiko. You know what I'm saying? So they already destroying R and B. Ain't no more baby making music. Ain't no more Luther. Ain't no more you know. Ain't no more Anita Bakers out there no more. It's it's pointless music, but. It's another thing for another day. Hit that subscribe button, bell icon button. Don't forget all my social media in the description, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got a uh, business question, quality response, uh, video request, or you can hit me up on Twitter, email quickest way, or Facebook, Graham, but Twitter and email quickest way. Want to make a donation to the channel, that link's in the description. Uh, other than that, check our music entertainment playlist one time for the one time we gone.